Hi, it's Ngan here. I'm passionate about sunscreen and skincare. I talk about it all the time in my channel. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can see my video every week. Also, you might want to follow me on Instagram where I post a lot about sunscreen and skincare and sometimes give away if you might be interested in it. I also have a little shop called AMC where I imported a unique and purito product from Korea and they are 100% authentic that I can guarantee you with my reputation. So, if you are interested in those brands, you might want to pay a visit at my msc.vn or my msc shop on Shopee. And they're on discounts now. Thanks you guys so much. <laughs> so, this video, for a really long time that I haven't done a video about sunscreen review, now, <laughs> so you guys requested me so many sunscreens and I feel the that I have to do it. So today the two sunscreen that I'm gonna review is this one, the Isn't Tree sunscreen and the Anua sunscreen. Alright, so let's get into it. Alright, so I'm gonna talk about this sunscreen first. It is the Isn't Tree Hyaluronic Acid Perfect Sunblock SBF 50 plus BI4 pluses. This is the mineral sunscreen. You can call it physical sunscreen or inorganic sunscreen which are the same names for this type of sunscreen. So they say that they have the eight types of hyaluronic acid. Um, if you don't know hyaluronic acid, it is the natural substance that is found uh, naturally in the skin and it is the humectants to help to draw the water down your skin and for in the outside environment as well to draw back the water into the skin to help to keep it moisturized and to keep it uh, softer and plump to skin. They claim unnoticeable white cast so I will go to everything about this sunscreen including ingredients, the texture and how I feel about this sunscreen. For the ingredients I'm actually a little bit disappointed about the ingredient, although it's just a really minor lack for me is the uh, UV filters for this sunscreen. They only contain titanium dioxide, which is the only UV filters, um, physical UV filter that you found in this sunscreen. If you don't know about titanium dioxide, this is the physical UV filters, which will help your skin to prevent the UV rays including the UVB and the UVA but for the UVA abilities of this to prevent the UVA rays are very limited only prevent on the UVA 2 um, but not as strong to prevent you on the UVA one. I'm actually really doubtful about this sunscreen and I really want them to have one more UV filter such as the Zing Oxide which is amazing UV filter and it's, it's like a fully broad spectrum for you to prevent UVA and UVB. Let me go through some other good ingredients in this sunscreen. It's the niacinamide which is one of the top ingredients in the this sunscreen. I love this in niacinamide ingredient ingredient in terms of reducing the redness, in, in terms of improve the size of the pores and the control the sebum production very well. Um, they also have ceramide NP which is absolutely there to soothe the skin and to prepare the protective barrier of the skin. Um, one ingredient which is really good to keep the moisture stay input on the skin is the olive fruit oil oily skin which might be a disadvantage because it could lock the pores sometimes i think for this sunscreen they actually meant there to clog the moisturizer and the olive fruit oil here it will act like an occlusive to actually seal the moisture and your skin and not let them to escape it. They also have the Centella Asiatica. Another great ingredient is the Lactobacillus fermentalisate, which is the probiotics. And if you don't know what probiotic means, is when we have like inflamed skin or the attacked by the bacteria in our body, we take the supplements or we take the probiotics to help to fight the bacteria and to help with the inflammation. So as time by when you use it, it will help to strengthen the immune system of your cells in the skin. So it's actually a really good ingredient in the skin. It also helps to fight the erythema in your uh, skin as well when you have like bubbles or red spots in your face. 
Okay, they also have um, eight types of hyaluronic acid, and I love hyaluronic acid. Um, it is a wonderful ingredient. Will help to keep the moisture in the skin. They have no fragrance in here. They have no essential oils in here, and they also have no alcohol in here. Talk about the texture of this sunscreen. This sunscreen tester blow me away. Seriously guys, this is just like a water gel sunscreen and it appears so lightweight in the skin. And actually I only use this sunscreen on the side of my cheekbones and on the sides of my face because those areas that appear really dry in my face, I would need something like this. So this is actually really suitable for those who have dry skin or those who have like uh, oily skin or more on the drier side. But if you have like really dry skin, I don't think that it will ha provide enough moisture in your skin. You will need to go um, something that extra moisture. This one is like um, at the moderate level. And uh, I'm happy with that. So the tester, let me show you. I use it a lot, man. I use it like almost every day to test it right now. Okay, I want to open like more light so that you can see it clearly on the tester. You see, okay, I put it quite a lot in here. Although it look thick, but it's actually is not thick at all in the in the skin. Oh my gosh. Okay, my camera is like insane. Okay, I, I just go down on my skin, uh, on my arms because it's I put it quite a lot, but it's very blendable, and it's really really lightweight. And the thing is that after, after I put it right, and it will have a layer of a light shining effect on the skin, like right after I blend it out. So you can see it's a little bit shinier. On the skin it will help the skin to uh, torn up a bit I guarantee you it's not that much because I just put it too much so I think it's not that uh, crazily white cast it is okay it will help your skin to appear a little bit whiter a little bit brighter if you don't mind but for me I think for my skin I, I don't really mind about it after 15 to 20 minutes right the shining layer will disappear like like it's, it's not on your face anymore it will make your face like moisturize it's not become so much in the face but it's embraced and moisturizes the skin so that's what i really really love on this sunscreen and i think if the manufacturer put the same uh, zinc oxide in here and still maintain the texture like this right I think I'm just gonna buy this sunscreen for the rest of my life. This is really, really good. I love it. The thing about this sunscreen is it's not water resistant. So if you tend to uh, use this sunscreen, I think just it's best to use the sunscreen like around the house or you should go to the office and then you can apply it like after two to three hours. Um, without like appearing too white cast on your skin so this is the sunscreen that will help you to layer and reapply it easily and it's still not peel, do not ball I don't appearing any peeling or balling or any stingling and burning sensation in my face it's, it's just really it's really soothing it's really good guys I love it it's just I'm really doubtful about the UV protections in this. I wish that they put zinc oxide in here. You'll feel safer with zinc oxide in there and it's a good ingredient also. For this sunscreen, uh, for oily skin on a drier side, perfect, perfect. But for like for you, you have oily skin, maybe like after like one or two hours, you will start to uh, reduce the sebum on the face. So that's why I only put at a size on my cheekbones and where that my skin feel dry. I don't put it at my T-zone because um, it's, it's not going to suck up the excessive sebum in my skin. I'm sorry, eating too much protein. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Any comments that you guys comment on the videos, I read it all actually. And um, there is one sunscreen that you guys continually requested me to review. It's the Hamilton sunscreen. It's from Australia, I think. So yeah, it's coming and because it's tight, it's delaying. So I, I would need some time to test that sunscreen as well. 
so yes of course it will be on my list to review so don't worry and stay tuned and watch my videos okay so don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because when you subscribe it YouTube algorithm will know that you like the test of the video and will suggest you some other helpful similar video I will see you guys in my next video and I wish you guys have a healthy and glowy skin I love ya <laughs>